Welcome back to another VFX video tutorial and this time we're gonna do the cheap water effect which you are seeing here and you're thinking oh my god this is great yeah hold your horses this is the cheap version so this is quite incomplete but I kind of recycled a video from this guy let's put it up this uh, game maker station Motaru or however you call this guy because I definitely mispronounced uh, it but he did one interesting thing shader water shader and this is what I'm gonna use for now but in a let's say different way because first of all we are making a sphere and the, the thing about sphere is, is that for example you want uh, it to wobble or something this is basically the water effect if you have seen well, another tutorial of mine which was the heat wave shader basically the same code you're just sending some waves through the horizontal and vertical line of uh, I don't know a texture or whatever and BAM you get this effect so if you want to know how to do this sphere I'm gonna show you all that stuff plus the cheap water effect stay tuned this is one up in the I am the developer of the indie game Clunky Souls and a programmer slash pixel artist. So if you are new here and you definitely want more, consider subscribing to my channel because I try to upload every second day, every day, a video that helps you out for good and share my stuff that would be pretty sweet, even though maybe you are maybe better doing something outside. So well, let's go into the good stuff so here how does that all work basically it's a shader so if you watch this Mataru guy this is basically just a shader applied to a sprite this is just basically it so if you're having trouble with the shaders even though this will be very quick da -da 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 -da, bam 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 um, maybe uh, consider watching one of my other tutorials or from this guy he actually explains most of the stuff I will just rush through it because this is the hard stuff you didn't want the easy stuff you get the hard stuff here so how can we actually do this so first of all how can we actually do this sphere because this is quite easy so let's go for the sphere first of all this is just a ring which uh, glowing radiant so if you don't know where to get one well I just had one in where are you so, da, 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 da. so I will just give you the link to this guy so basically this thing copy copy and paste it and then what I would like to do is just basically put a grid on here so just paint your own grid if you like then once you have your grid ready you can of course have different ones depending how thick you want to have it for example here nice thing which is under filters if we are on the grid on filters distortion distortion and then I guess the last one which is Wölben. no idea how that actually is called in English and then you get this little thing here and then you can make well a globe and as you can see this looks already definitely a little bit bent which is great and then for example we can do this with I don't know this thing here or what I did with this little grid here and then put it on do some glow effects so here BAM uh, glow on the outside I don't know 30 pixels or whatever and then BAM you have this disco ball here no problem then you import it in Game Maker Studio but here just keep in mind uh, it's quite huge so maybe you want to make it a little bit smaller than 1500 pixels so I just reduced it to what was it half 400 pixels something like this so one third um, good enough for us and then what do we do first of all we need to set up our shader which I'm just gonna do on my dwarf guy because he has nothing better to do than to have a shader apply to him so let's go into the draw kill that so you don't have to see this because first of all we're just gonna do the globe around him so first of all what do we need to draw him of course first because we are handing shaders we need to have some uniforms one is the time one is the texel so if you're having troubles with texel and time as well time is pretty easy 
because this is a thing which we're passing in. So we're having a constant stream of, uh, let's say, time which is running down. Then we can send waves depending what kind of time we're having. And well, this is a changing thing. And therefore we're having different waves every time uh, <laughs> we use the time in the shader. Then the texture is just basically coordinates. I'm not gonna go into detail. If you want to have the more detailed stuff, watch this tutorial. Oh, one of mine on uh, texels and um, texture pages and all that stuff. Because here I'm gonna not gonna go into detail. This is just passing in two things. And for example, once we go into the shader, there are not too many things um, going into. So for example, if you watched my tutorial on the heat wave shader, I guess I did one. Yeah, I did one. Um, then. Here, once again, you see two uniforms, so our time and our texture. This is a thing I'll explain in a few seconds. And then you pass in a few things. First of all, a speed. So this is called X speed, whatever you want to have it. So this is one wave and this is the second wave. And therefore we need a speed variable, how fast we want to pump through it. And then we need a frequency because how frequent we want to do our um, waves through it and then how big the waves are this one is on the vertical and this one is on the horizontal so basically you need two waves and then well depending what kind of a value you have you it will be more or less distorted therefore i am having two shaders one for distort this is a little stronger and then for the player the frequencies and the size is definitely smaller so for example you see smaller values here and then you just um, well, adapt it depending how big the things you are having so let's go into the start first of all and then well what do we need first of all we are putting a Xenos function in and our time this is the thing which we passed in because this is changing we are getting values between minus one and one because Xenos goes up and down up and down and therefore this is pretty sweet to have always different kind of values and then well we arrange things to make the wave. This is just making the wave and then for example what we do normally it would be GL frag color, VV color, then texture duty page and then bam. This stuff is just additional information how to draw stuff and this is basically what we do. We are so first of all once again we're having our uniforms and then we draw that. For example we just start our shader we reset it then we say hey pass in our current time as the uni time so basically the one thing which is just constantly changing because we want it to be a wave thing <laughs> without that there would be static and then you wouldn't be having the animation which you like and then we need to take um, our text texels which is important so sprite gets texture because we need need to get stuff from the texture page which we are getting and then we are distorting that from our texture page and therefore we said hey shader said uniform f and this is the texel and then we pass in the width and the height of our texture to be in here is just the sphere so this is this guy here middle center of course you don't have to do this but it looks better so bam and then well we draw the sphere of course now it will be this distorted so for example once we started yeah 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 <laughs> let's go into it um as you can see now you have this wobbly wobbly thing which is looking good but i changed a few things so let's go in here change that and go into tools and i will show you what that actually means uh, texture group yeah here we go i wanted to go in here one so normally, and once we start it again, um, you could go, you could have issues. And I guess hopefully it will show the issues now. Yeah, as you can see, um, it is wobbling around the texture pages, but now it's going outside. So one thing how to avoid it is to make the sphere, well, have lots of blank space around it so it can actually move around because it is basically just going uh, places left and right. And therefore, just have lots of canvas space and normally game maker studio does uh, crop it so we go under tools texture pages and then normally 
it will automatically crop out parts which are well um, transparent but here we kick this option out so let's go back in here and normally it could already resolve our issue which is pretty sweet and already does but for example maybe um, you cannot do this then another option is or additionally what you can do is to take uh, your sprite and just put it on a separate texture page so let's go in here make it super 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 <laughs> okay hope you uh, can read this i hope this is big enough yeah <laughs> okay i'm just uh, messing around with that so basically you put your sprite on a separate texture page of course the more you do this the more texture pages you're having and the more your uh well if your game is running it will just jump between them so don't abuse this function it's pretty decent but as more for example if you are exporting to let's say mobiles then you shouldn't be having too many texture pages and not saying okay i want the globe i want the other stuff everything on a texture page separately so they're basically having their own yeah not the best idea just to keep that into perspective so basically what is happening we're just taking um, a sprite taking its textures from the texture page cutting that out and then distorting and this is how i could create the effect which is being drawn let's say on the sphere which i'm taking off or for example if you want to have the guy being animated then the same thing we can actually do it once again so basically do a shader this time i can just call it distort player and then we are passing in once again the time taking the textures from our sprite index so basically from the object itself which has it assigned so every time you move around and you change the sprite index of the guy or the image index is uh, this, these guys are being changed for whatever because you're swapping because well once you are idle then you're walking so on then it will always take the correct one which you need and then well once again we are passing in the texture width and the height so we get grabbing stuff from the texture page and putting that into the texture which is being well kind of uh, taken and well transformed and as you can see draw self so for example now um, not only the globe though this uh, sphere is wobbling now the guy inside is wobbling as well and he's actually doing quite interesting effect why is that because he's drawing two times so once again this is a way how to do this this is a definitely not the most effective way just to keep that in mind you yeah, know it definitely looks better um for example what you can do it for like spheres which are on single targets on single sprites then you can do some kind of the uh, thing which is just wobbling which is cool let's say for icons for items you can pick up and whatever or for let's say for example for a torch which is a flame and then you kind of distort it a little bit definitely looks cool um on water this is now the cheap way how to do this <laughs> because what is this just one big sprite and then i'm running the same distorting uh, shader to it in my opinion you can use it but this is definitely the cheap man's <laughs> water uh, effect and it doesn't take anything into account it's just taking this one sprite which is a fat sprite by the way and distorting it so this is a suboptimal way there are of course bigger ones but then you have to watch a video tutorial of 30 minutes plus yay 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 but here <laughs> i just wanted to give you the quick and dirty way how to do your sphere your distortion with this floating guy here in this uh, bubble thing or whatever that is or yeah and then for example a cheap but quite effective distortion of course here you don't have any water reflections nothing that stuff um, what you have to do with a surface and then texture pages and so on and so on so hopefully that was of interest to you and you can actually make some cool stuff with this it has some applications but of course the way i showed it to you this is definitely cool but limited so Enjoy the sun, have a good one, one up indeed.